On Wednesday, February 7, 2018, the Falcon Heavy made history as one of the most important rocket launches in the history of space travel, if not the most important rocket launch in the modern era of space flight. And without a doubt, one of the most amazing advertisements for a company ever. You saw people of every walk of life gathered. People flew into America from other countries, even people who couldn't speak English were enamored by the launch of the most powerful rocket in existence, the Falcon Heavy. Truly revolutionary. But enough with that, this video is on a different topic. If you want more information on the absolutely legendary and awe-inspiring nature of the Falcon Heavy, take a look at the last three videos I published on my channel in the past. They go into heavy detail as to how the Falcon Heavy is breaking boundaries. But again, this isn't the topic of this video. What is, is the question that has to be lingering on everybody's mind since the Falcon Heavy first launched. Who will take down Elon Musk? Who next is going to try and beat him at his own game? Who will become the Samsung SpaceX's Apple? Elon Musk has said himself that he wants there to be a space race, and he himself wants competition. So without further ado, what company will be the next to give SpaceX a run for its money and possibly put it on the chopping block? At number 5 on our list of competitors is probably a company you've never heard about. What this company decided to do was instead of competing with SpaceX and other aeronautics giants in every single category, it decided to pick a very specific niche of the rocket industry and focus all of their energy into manufacturing the very best rocket for that category. Hailing from New Zealand, the beautiful ocean island across the sea, we have the company Rocket Lab. Rocket Lab aims to completely disrupt the small rocket industry by flying very small payloads to low earth orbit. It needs to keep in mind that these rockets are very small. They are competing with the Falcon 9 and they certainly aren't competing with the Falcon Heavy, but they are trying to carve out their own niche in the rocket industry as a competitor to rockets like the Falcon 1. They currently only have one rocket manufactured known as the Electron rocket. But I bet you're wondering, so what if Rocket Lab makes small rockets? They're still small potatoes compared to SpaceX. And you're right, except for the fact that Rocket Lab has a secret weapon. Even though Rocket Lab's rockets are not reusable, unlike SpaceX, Rocket Lab's rockets are 3D printable. This means that they are extremely fast to produce and as they scale into new areas, this may be a trait that SpaceX is unable to copy. Next on the list of possible candidates to be the SpaceX killer is none other than the Titanic company SpaceX stomped on when it made its debut into the rocket scene. For decades before SpaceX was the titan it is today, the joint venture between Boeing and Lockheed Martin known as the United Launch Alliance dominated space. Their prices were very high but their reliability was infamous along with their strong ties to the US government. The question on everybody's minds is will they come back and will it be with a vengeance? As the facts are currently, SpaceX is cheaper and better than the United Launch Alliance. However, because the United Launch Alliance has been around for so long, they have a lot of money to throw around, meaning that they are going to make the fight for the stars as bloody as possible. At number 3, we have a long fan favorite and the last of the old guard to make it onto our list. We have the legendary organization to put the first human on the moon. You know it. You love it. It's NASA. NASA is already infamous for its insane accomplishments in the field of aeronautics as it was literally one of the first organizations to accomplish it. Even though NASA has seemed to have fallen off a bit in the past few years, I'm actually confident that NASA can make a comeback as, believe it or not, the new administration in America has made a commitment to an increased dedication to space flight. No matter what the people say, NASA is still the original behemoth that tamed the wild west of space flight. The only reason NASA isn't higher on this list is because we have yet to see the true capacity Capacity when it has its mind set towards space. Next up on our list and one of the most likely candidates to dethrone SpaceX in the coming years is none other than a company headed up another billionaire genius who wants to see men among the stars. This one is headed by the richest man alive, Blue Origin founded by Jeff Bezos actually has one of the best shots putting SpaceX into the ground. Believe it or not, Blue Origin actually landed its first reusable rocket before the Falcon 9. But then again, SpaceX also beat them with its Grasshopper rocket three years before. It's a real complicated story when you put all the pieces together. 
Regardless, Blue Origin has a real shot of not only beating SpaceX to having humans in space, but also having a rocket to rival the Falcon Heavy with its new Glenn rocket. Beware, Elon Musk, Jeff is coming in 2020. Finally, we have number one. I have put this company at the top of my list for many reasons as it has an almost complete monopoly over the space markets in Europe and the money and capital to make almost any venture a reality. Not only this, but it also has a track record of reliability proven. The company's name is Ariane Space, and it has a lot in common with the United Launch Alliance in the fact that it's been around for around 40 years and has been doing the same thing for years without much change. But the reason I have Ariane Space as number one on this list is the fact that it is actually innovating. Its new rocket, the Ariane 6, promises to cut the prices of flights to even lower values and strengthen its monopoly. So in the next 10 years, once Ariane Space begins to get scared and really begin innovating, I believe we will see it giving SpaceX a run for its money. With that, we conclude our list of the top 5. Before you leave, I want to ask you to subscribe and to subscribe. And to make sure to subscribe to this channel if you want more content like this. Thank you for watching and have an absolutely great day.